Mm -hmm. All right, well, next Friday, October 11th, is Give to Women and Girls Day. The awareness campaign aims to even the playing field when it comes to funding organization for females of all ages. So joining us now to talk about the initiative is Yolanda F. Johnson, the founder of Women of Color in Fundraising and Philanthropy. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Love to be here. So tell us, how you're celebrating the third annual of this day. How did this all get started? Back in 2022, um, the Women's Philanthropy Institute at Indiana University, it is the end all be all for all things in women's philanthropy, um, started to realize uh, that there are 50,000 organizations that support women and girls out there, but they are getting less than 2% of all philanthropic funding. And so they were like, we need to draw some awareness to this and, and celebrate women and girls far more than we do. Why has there been so much difficulty with these organizations getting the funding? Funding and backing that they need? Well, I think one reason is the way that our society works and, uh, you know, salary um, inequities and, and all the different things that go into gender roles. Uh, and women need to advocate for themselves. But it's not just about us doing it, it's about allyship and other people supporting us as well. Everybody's got you know, or had a mom or a grandma or a sister or a niece or some woman in their life who matters to them. And so it has to matter to everybody. So what would you say is the purpose of Give to Women and Girls Day? The purpose is to really bring awareness to all of the issues around women and girls. And now it's continued to evolve into something that's become really powerful around action. So it's about giving, it's about changing that. It's about leveling the playing field and saying, if we're getting less than 2%, let's change it today. So how can people join the effort support, but also find out about these organizations that may be in need of funding and backing? Well, there are a few things that you can do. You can go online and look at the Women and Girls Index. It is a literal, <laughs> It's the actual, absolute database mm -hmm. um, for all organizations, the whole landscape for women and girls. Wow. So just go look at that, um, and you can think differently about how you do your gift giving. We're almost at the holidays, and sometimes you have that person where you they, they have everything. Yeah. You can't find a gift for them. <laughs> so give a gift in honor yeah. of them to a charity. Um, support organizations that are always front of mind, like Girl Scouts. Girl Scouts is entrepreneurship and everything else. You know, just thinking differently and taking the time to think about it and you can call me <laughs> I'll help you figure it out <laughs> uh, we love the Girl Scouts they're one of the reasons that we can't unbig our back those cookies oh the you cookies know? <laughs> have a we guess love those cookies. all right you also have an event coming up tell us a little bit about it yes next Friday October 11th happens to also be International Day of the Girl and so we're having a huge event at the New York Historic Historical Society um, all of the women's organizations that are moving and shaking for gender equity are going to be there. It's going to be um, Woke, my organization, uh -huh. Women of Color in Fundraising and Philanthropy, Powher New York, the Ms. Foundation, New York Women's Foundation, um, everyone. And so we're going to join together and celebrate and, uh, and change this landscape of women and girls giving. All right. And all day we're going to play Who Around the World? Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure to be here. Yeah, and if you would like to give, support, give to Women and Girls Day or to attend an event at the New York Historical Society, please visit givetowomenandgirlsnyc.org. It's right there on your screen.